Ever pondered the question, are we alone in the universe? It's a thought that can evoke a sense of both awe and perhaps a little trepidation. The vastness of space with its countless galaxies and infinite possibilities suggests that somewhere, somehow, there might be other forms of intelligent life. Yet despite our high-tech telescopes and sophisticated space probes, we've yet to find any concrete evidence of extraterrestrial civilizations. No radio signals, no spacecrafts, not even a simple hello from across the cosmic void. This apparent contradiction between the high mathematical probability of life elsewhere and our lack of contact is known as the Fermi Paradox. Is it possible that we've been looking in the wrong places or at the wrong times? Or, could there be something more profound at play, something that explains this eerie cosmic silence? To understand this paradox, we need to delve into the concept of the Great Filter. The Great Filter, a term coined by economist Robin Hanson, is a proposition that attempts to resolve this paradox. Let's dive into this concept a bit more. Picture the Great Filter as this colossal wall. It's not a physical wall but a metaphorical one. It represents a barrier or perhaps a series of barriers that are so challenging and so profound that they stop civilizations in their tracks, preventing them from reaching a level of advancement where they could colonize the galaxy. You see, the universe is vast, unimaginably so. It's filled with billions upon billions of stars, many of which are surrounded by planets. Some of these planets might even be similar to ours, located in that sweet spot known as the habitable zone, where conditions could be just right for life to flourish. Yet, despite all these opportunities for life to exist, we've never encountered any signs of extraterrestrial civilizations. This seeming contradiction between the high probability of extraterrestrial life and the lack of contact with such civilizations is what we call the Fermi Paradox. The Great Filter Theory proposes a resolution to this paradox. It suggests that there's something out there, some kind of barrier or set of hurdles that are so difficult to overcome, they filter out civilizations before they have a chance to make their presence known on a galactic scale. It's like an evolutionary test that's so tough most life forms fail to pass it, it's a sobering thought, isn't it? But it does provide a potential answer to the question that has puzzled humanity for centuries. Why, in a universe so vast and old, with so many opportunities for life, have we not seen any signs of other civilizations? So, what exactly could this great filter be? There are several proposed filters that could be limiting the existence or the visibility of extraterrestrial life. Let's take a moment to consider some of these potential roadblocks. A common one is the sheer difficulty of life starting in the first place. Life, as we understand it, requires a delicate balance of conditions. The right elements, in the right quantities, under the right conditions, and at the right time. It's like a cosmic lottery and the odds might be overwhelmingly against us. Then there's the challenge of developing intelligence. Life on Earth existed for billions of years before anything we would recognize as intelligent emerged. It's entirely possible that intelligence is a rare commodity in the universe, a fluke of evolution rather than an inevitable outcome. But perhaps the most chilling filter is the possibility of self-destruction. We're all too aware of the threats we pose to our own survival, from nuclear war to environmental devastation. It's conceivable that any civilization advanced enough to reach for the stars also possesses the means to destroy itself. These filters paint a rather bleak picture. If any of these filters are ahead of us it means we might be doomed to extinction before we ever become a spacefaring civilization. The universe might be littered with the ruins of civilizations that reached for the stars, only to fall back down into oblivion. However it's important to remember that these are all just theories. There's still so much we don't know about the universe and our place in it. It's possible that life is common throughout the cosmos, that intelligence is the rule, rather than the exception that civilizations routinely survive their self-destructive tendencies. We just haven't found them yet. But what if we've already passed the Great Filter? What if the greatest challenges are behind us and the cosmos is ours for the taking? That's a question we'll explore in the next segment. If we've already passed the Great Filter, that would be good news for us, but potentially bad news for the rest of the universe. This assertion begins our exploration into the possibility that we, as a species, have already managed to navigate the treacherous waters of the Great Filter. The idea that we might have already passed the Great Filter is both exhilarating and terrifying. In this scenario we are not just rare but possibly unique and extraordinary stroke of cosmic luck. The development of life, from single-celled organisms to complex beings capable of asking these big questions, might be so unlikely that it has only happened once here on Earth. If true, 
This would mean that we are the first, and so far the only life form in the universe to have passed the Great Filter. As the only known life we would bear the enormous responsibility of preserving life and ensuring its continuity, not just on Earth but potentially throughout the universe, the implications are staggering. It would mean that every other planet in the universe is a blank canvas, untouched by life. We could potentially be the ones to seed life across the cosmos, to bring biology to worlds that have never known it. It's a role that carries a heavy burden, but also an immense opportunity. But what if we haven't passed the great filter yet? What if the filter is not the emergence of life but something yet to come? Perhaps the development of artificial intelligence or the ability to manipulate the fundamental forces of nature. These are questions that we can't answer yet, but they underline the importance of our continued survival and advancement. In conclusion, the Great Filter Theory is a profound concept that forces us to grapple with our place in the universe. It reminds us of the rarity and fragility of life, and the responsibility we carry as potentially the only life forms in the vast cosmic ocean. As we gaze into the stars we can't help but wonder, have we already passed the Great Filter? The Great Filter Theory is profound and has major implications for our future. Whether the Great Filter is behind us or ahead of us, the implications are immense. If the filter is behind us, it signifies that we've already passed through a rare life-critical event, and perhaps we are one of the few, if not the only, forms of intelligent life in the universe. This might feel lonely, but it also underscores the remarkable and unique nature of our existence. It makes the preservation of life on Earth even more crucial, as we may well be the universe's only chance at conscious self-awareness. On the other hand, if the filter is ahead of us, it offers a sobering warning. We may still face a colossal hurdle that could wipe us off the face of the universe. This possibility is a call to action for us to invest in space exploration and technology that could help us avoid or survive such a calamity. It's a plea to broaden our horizons, to become a multi-planetary species, and to ensure the survival of life beyond the confines of our blue planet. Delving deeper, the Great Filter Theory also has profound philosophical implications. It compels us to reflect on our place in the universe and the meaning of life itself. If we are alone, are we the universe's way of understanding itself? If we are not, what could we learn from other intelligent life forms, and what could they learn from us? The Great Filter is a cosmic mystery that stirs our curiosity and fuels our quest for knowledge. It's a reminder of the fragility and preciousness of life and of the boundless potential that lies in the stars. It's a theory that challenges us to think bigger, to aim higher, and to cherish the life that we have. So next time you gaze up at the stars, remember the great filter and ponder, are we truly alone in the universe?